Hey guys, so here's a quick demonstration showing SAP integration with salesforce.com using MuleSoft. Um, I'll be running through the AnyPoint Studio today, so um, if you haven't seen AnyPoint Studio, uh, go check out our MuleSoft documentation to find out more about the tooling and how it can help you set up these integrations between your SAP and Salesforce instances, okay? So today I have data from my SAP instance, right? So I have you know a set of customer records in here, and I want to take these customer records and push them over to my Salesforce instance. And I'm going to be storing those customer records in the account objects within the Salesforce. So you can see here within my Salesforce instance, there's currently no SAP records in here. So how I'm going to do this is I have a project set up in AnyPoint Studio. If you haven't seen the AnyPoint Studio. Uh, please check out our documentation or follow up with me uh, in another email to find out more about how AnyPoint Studio works to create these integrations. Okay, so within AnyPoint Studio, what I've set up here is a basic flow. I'm uh, it's instantiating this flow by making a request to the flow using uh, my browser, and that's going to go ahead and call SAP using our SAP connector. The SAP connector essentially wraps the JCO libraries for SAP and exposes functionality of making BAPI calls or IDOC calls. So within, the, within this connector itself, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to be making a BAPI call, right? And in, in the tooling itself, I have the ability to call, you know, uh, any BAPI within SAP and leverage that specific function. In this case, I'm going to be using um, the BAPI customer get list, okay? Um, once I set that up within the tooling, with the, within the connector itself, as you can see, each connector has its own set of properties based off of what you're trying to accomplish. And then for the Salesforce side, right, this Salesforce connector essentially wraps the Salesforce APIs and exposes the functionality. So instead of writing custom code, you're just dragging the connector over here from the palette into the canvas and clicking and configuring what operations you want to perform against that specific system. So in the case of the Salesforce connector, I've set up the credentials to authenticate to my Salesforce instance. And then for the operations, I've selected upsert. So I'm gonna go ahead and either insert or update a record within Salesforce. And then I'm gonna point it to the account object. And then additionally within our tooling is the ability to map the fields that you want to map from one system to another. Using something called data sense, we're able to actually understand and pull out the metadata as well as the fields specific for those uh, systems. So on the SAP side here, you can see that for the BAPI customer get list, we pull back an understanding of what that response will be when I make that function call to SAP and the data that I'm gonna get back from there, right? So you can easily, um, you know, query the metadata and, and, and find relevant fields and then easily map those fields directly to the, the uh, target system. So in this case, it's Salesforce. I'm looking at the account object and without having to write any custom code, it pulls back the metadata around that specific object, right? And it's not just the standard object. It also pulls back custom fields that you've configured within your Salesforce instance and it'll expose those and allow you to easily map those fields over. So let's go ahead and quickly run this demonstration and kind of just show you how easy it is. So within the tooling itself, you have the ability to test out your integration before you deploy it to production. So I've gone ahead and run this project. And if we switch over to the console, you can see that it's launching this project and uh, installing this project directly into the embedded mule runtime. Okay, so now that it's deployed, let's go ahead and switch to the browser. And we're gonna go ahead and instantiate this flow by making a request to that specific endpoint. So we'll go to localhost 8081. And once we run that request, you can see over here on the studio side, it's gonna to, going to go ahead and process the data. So it's gonna go ahead and pull the data from SAP. It's gonna transform that data and it's gonna make a call over to Salesforce. And then back on the browser side, once it completes that request, it's gonna let me know that the status of this request is successful, right? So coming back over to my Salesforce instance, let's go ahead and do a refresh. And we can now see that those customer records are loaded into the account object here within Salesforce, okay? Um, to find out more about our SAP connector as well as the Salesforce connector, uh, please check out our documents site, so docs.mulesoft.com. 
And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email. Thanks.